105 is a uh... Oh my god. This way. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ooh, I pi I pictured it but way more. This is awesome. Wow, look at this. Take a look at that. Hey, hey, that's tough. Love mm. you. Ready? How you, feeling? you hot? I'm hot. Yeah. How you feeling? You good? Yeah. you gonna, um, they gonna get you a cab? I think you should take a cab. Sure? Yeah. I can I walk it. I should be super sweaty. No, I mean, you walk it, but that's sweaty. Okay, whatever you want. I wanna take some pictures with the walk in and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah great. I know I'll give you the, the necklace. Yeah, it's okay. Like... I'll wear it later. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. <laughs> hot. hot. I'm not hot, but I'm hot. God is indeed happy today to be with you and with all of us. So we welcome you to this beautiful ceremony to the opening prayer.
Father, you have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christian love for your church. Hear our prayers for Sanyu and Terry. With faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Tobit. On their wedding night, Tobiah rose from bed and said to his wife, Sister, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. Sarah got up and they started to pray and begged that deliverance might be theirs. They began with these words. Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praise be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam, and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, Amen, Amen, the word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Set your heart on the greatest gifts. Now, I will show you the way which surpasses all the others. If I speak with human tongues, and angelic as well, but do not have love, I am a nosy gong and clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy, and with full knowledge comprehend all mysteries, if I have faith great enough to move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give everything I have to feed the poor, and hand over my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. Love is not jealous, it does not put on airs, it is not snobbish. Love is never rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not prone to anger, neither does it brood over injuries. Love does not rejoice in what is wrong, but rejoices with the truth. There is no limit to love's forbearance to its trust, its hope, its power to endure. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. There is no greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, I no longer speak to you as slaves. For a slave does not know what his master is about. Instead, I call you friends, since I have made known to you all that I heard from my father. It was not you who chose me. It was I who chose you to go forth and bear fruit. Your fruit must endure. So that all you ask the Father in my name, he will give you the Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated.
That's good, they are, they are taking a better place. <laughs> I have been officiating at weddings with my family. I have not counted the number of times I have come up to speak on that occasion. I was, uh, I was thinking of telling something different from what I had told the previous weddings. It's because every wedding is special. And I see that you have chosen readings that are quite different from what others had selected. And you have put your heart and soul into the readings. I see that. And I know all, those, all, all of you who listen to those readings certainly must have found the common theme the running through all the three readings. The theme of love. The theme of commitment. And the theme of God's presence. So I was so happy when they texted me the readings, and I said, yeah, they are serious about the job. It's not like others. I never thought that you would be so serious looking at you, Sanu, and Sharin. But indeed they are. That surprised me first. Then I said, that is the idea of thing that they need to think of the moment of their of, their, of, the, of this great commitment they are going to give to each other in front of God. And they have realized that, the seriousness of it. And I know, it was there. You know, when I took my vows in the religious congregation, we had to sign a certificate of our commitment. And I remember someone telling us, you are signing your life away. In fact, that was not right, but it was signing to add to your life a new person. You are committing yourself to someone else that was a God for us at that time. We are committing our life to God. We are not taking away anything from our life, but we are giving Him and adding Him to our life. And today, they would be doing the same. When they come up to sign those documents, you are not signing your life away. You are not, but you are adding. Sharon is adding to the life of Sanu, and Sanu would be adding his life to yours. And that's not the only equation there. That's what I want to tell you about. The equation is complete when a plus is added to that, and you put God there. You put Jesus there. And then only it becomes a sacrament, or else it's not. That's a big difference between a Catholic wedding and the other weddings that you generally see. And I'm going to tell this not only to you and also to the coming generation of young people who would be doing the same commitment. It's not taking away from your life your personal taste or attitudes or character but it's adding and that becomes much more perfect when you add God to it and that's exactly the reading sold us today we spoke about Tobian and Sarah the first night imagine the first night when they were alone in the bedroom, Tobiah gets up and tell, tells Sarah, let us kneel down. Let's think of God and pray. And they said that beautiful prayer. That's the, re the first reading that we had. They put God there into their life 
and the whole life was complete and successful. And that's what Sanu and Sharin wanted to do today. Bring God into their lives. Not putting Him away, but bringing Him into their lives and making your life perfect to the end. And the second reading, Corinthians, say in Paul that panegyric on, 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 on love. Oh, that was beautiful. He speaks about what love is and what love is not. He said, if that is not there, all this is a sham, is a booming, you know, symbol, which means nothing, only just noise. It gets its mark with love. And that's what we are celebrating. And Jesus too told us the same thing. There is no love other than committing one's life for the other person. The whole theme of the marriage is there in the readings that we heard today. So let it start from today. Sanu and Sharin, it's not the end of everything. This is all this while you have been preparing to take this step and you have taken well the very first step and God is there with you accompanying you till you complete to the end of your life and that's what we are all here today around you to pray that you carry on that journey till death the stability of marriage and we continue asking God for his blessings and prayers for you. God bless you. Sanu, do you accept Shireen as your wife according to the law of Christ and according to the custom of the Holy Church with free will and full <laughs> consent? I do. At this moment, I will ask the two witnesses to come forward. Shireen? Do you accept Sanu as your husband according to the law of Christ and according to the custom of the Holy Church with free will and full consent? I do. The witnesses, have you heard that? They said, I do. <laughs> as a symbol of the marriage contract, hold your right hands together. May the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob be with you. May Jesus Christ, our Lord, unite you with the bond of marriage in order to lead a family life with love and with unity of mind. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit forever. Amen. Amen. Give them strength to 
suffer great in the difficulties which they arise, which may arise in their life and to lead a holy life according to your will. Let it be also a symbol of their fidelity. O oh Lord our God, bless these rings which this couple wear as a symbol of their mutual love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O oh, merciful Lord, who adorns the human soul with the eternal robe of grace, bless this mandragori. The Lord who adorns the Holy Church, your bride, with the robe of glory, make them live a life of purity on earth, that it may be made worthy to wear the robe of glory in heaven. Amen. Shaky. <laughs> Me? Me. <laughs> Shaky. Ooh, fat fingers. <laughs> We do promise. We do promise. Making the holy gospel the witness. Making the holy gospel the witness. That from today onwards until our death. From today onwards until our death. 
We will live together with one mind. We will, we will live, live together, together with, with one mind. In mutual love and fidelity. In mutual love, love and fidelity. fidelity. In joy and sorrow. In joy and sorrow. In prosperity and poverty. In prosperity and poverty. In health and in ill health. In health and in ill health. May God Almighty. May God Almighty. Help us to live according to this promise. Help us to live according to this promise. May God Almighty bless you. May He enrich you with internal beauty and gifts of the Holy Spirit. May Christ, the head of the church, always be your ruler and protector. May He support you in all your activities of life. May he shower mental and bodily health and earthly blessings upon you. May he bless you to accept gladly everything that he designs to give you and to lead you to the path of sanctity. And may he make you worthy of offerings himself, praise, thanksgiving, and adoration. Amen. So now we will have the prayers of the faithful. Please write. The response is, Lord, hear us. For our Holy Father on earth, the Pope, all the bishops and the clergy everywhere, that they may lead us to a deeper faith in God and a stronger love for others. Let us pray to the Lord. For our president and all leaders of government, that they may be effective in achieving peace and eliminating poverty, let us pray to the Lord. For married persons, that they may continue to be able to give, forgive, and find happiness deepen within the passing of each day, let us pray to the Lord. For Sanu and Shireen now beginning their life together, that they may have divine assistance at every moment, the constant support of friends, the rich blessing of children, a warm love reaching out to others, and good health until a ripe old age. Let us pray to the Lord. by participating in the body and blood of Christ, they may always be bound together by love for one another. Holy Father, who formed man in your own image, male and female you created them, so that as husband and wife, united in body and heart, they might fulfill their calling to the world. A God who fulfilled the great sign you found in your love, Will that the love of spouses from each other should foreshadow the covenant you graciously made with your people, so that by fulfillment of the sacramental sign, the mystical marriage of Christ with his church might become manifest in the union of husband and wife on your faithful. Graciously stretch out your right hand, O 
our needs, your servants, son and children. We pray and that you pour into their hearts the power of the Holy Spirit. Grant, O Lord, that as they enter upon this sacrament of union, they may share with one another the gift of your love, and by being for each other a sign of your presence, become one heart and one mind. May they also sustain, O Lord, by their deeds, the hope they are forming, and prepare their children to become members of your heavenly household by raising them in the way of the gospel. Graciously crowned with your blessings, your daughter Sherry, so that by being a good wife and mother, she may bring warmth to her home with a love that is pure and adorn it with welcoming graciousness. Bestow a heavenly blessing also, O Lord, on Send your servant, that he may be worthy and good and faithful husband as a provident father. Grant, Holy Father, that desiring to approach your table as a couple joined in marriage in your presence, they may one day have the joy of taking part in your great banquet in heaven through Christ our Lord. Having been made partakers at your table, we pray, O Lord, that those who have been united by the sacrament of marriage may always hold fast to you and proclaim your name and your word through Christ our Lord. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the whole all powerful Father, grant you his joy and bless you with your with his blessings. Amen. May the only begotten Son of God stand by you with compassion in good times and in bad. Amen. May the Holy Spirit of God always pour forth in love in your hearts. We pray. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now we have our traditional hymn of praise to Jesus through our blessed mother by singing the Bell Maria. So we start that now.
സെല്ലിൻ്റെ സെല്ലിൻ്റെ വിവാഹത്തിനായി ഇവിടെ കൂടി ഇവിടെ വന്നിരിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാവർക്കും 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 ഇന്നേക്ക് പറഞ്ഞത് എന്നെ പറ്റി ഞാൻ നന്ദി പറയുന്നു On behalf of Mr. Chasi Gyan Liyam, Dr. Biroba, most of us all have traveled long distance to be here. Thank you all for coming to help us celebrate this special day. Salud! Hey, what a good show, man, you are. I know you are really good. Welcome to your party. ഫ്രണ്ട് <laughs> 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 We have an awesome dialogue here from the Japa. Thanks all of you for having me for that. Let me also thank uh, Father uh, Jones and Father Philip for the Philip in the wedding. We have uh, enough to have a very awesome church celebration. Let us celebrate. Let us have fun in Nola. Dear Shireen and Sanyo, Congratulations. We are so blessed to have you aboard. You are You are very ideal couple. Both of you are very talented and generous. We are so proud of you. We are available for any help. God bless you. Bless you both. Now and praise. But I can't tell you she was born to be my best friend. And although we have lived in different states for almost 15 years, she has always been kind for me. And I don't think we can go more than a few days before uh, talking to each other. So over six years ago, Shereen called me to tell me that her and Sunny were officially together. The first thing that came out of my mouth was, when's the wedding? So I knew that they would be a perfect together. The second thing I did was gasp and say, oh no. So then I realized I don't have to do the speech. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I'm very tricky. Yeah. I, <laughs> I considered telling you about all the trouble we got into when we were kids, but I realized that uh, we'd probably be here all day. I contemplated singing or rapping, but then many of you guys had witnessed me Indian dance yesterday, and I'm sorry for that. I think you've been through enough punishment already. But what I can do is tell you a little bit of a glimpse into uh, Shreen's childhood life, What might have to do with your future children? Oh, Number one, Shereen was one of the cutest babies I have ever seen. However, she had a bike accident when she was a kid and first her nose was broken and never recovered from that. Everyone knows Shereen had an impeccable style. As a child, she used to rock the Disney or Tweety Bird shirts that were too excel or were short down her ankles. Um, number three, she was a compulsive liar. She told her preschool teacher that she flew to India and came back over a weekend. <laughs> number four, she used to cut all her Barbie dolls hair. It was always uneven. Don't ever let her type children's hair yourselves. Marilyn can attest to that. <laughs> and as a teenager, well, let's just say, thank you, Pinamichi, wherever you are, because you always pray. <laughs> Um, it's no surprise to me that she became an event planner later in life. When we were kids, we wanted to sleep over each other's house. Often our parents would make excuses that we didn't have our clothes or the next day or our pajamas that night. So we ended up 
wise enough. We would sneak up close in the car way early so that we knew that we could get into each other's houses. And on those sleepovers, um, we used to make plans that it consisted of A, getting up, B, eating breakfast, C, playing the park, D, playing Barbie dolls, E, playing Oregon Trail, F, binge watching Land Before Time movie or watch some Disney movie or cartoon, and the list goes on and on and on. It was serious business. We needed to have, make sure that there was no time wasted. Playtime was a must. Um, it had to be done properly. Now, as for Sonia, I had known him for equally as long as the time. I remember when he first came to America and started dancing at the time program, showing up all the time with Jackson Moves at like Woo! under seven, rocking it out. So, of course, I was a huge fan. And as an adult, I had never met a man that commands as much romance as Sonia does. Wherever he goes, he's got men calling for him left and right. <laughs> so I just wanted to tell all the men out there today, he is finally completely taken. Leave him alone. Sonia, you use your power for good, man. There's no single ladies in this crowd that need your help. <laughs> Try them already. But the tree is Sonia, the only advice I can have is to give you is uh, what those licks gave us when we were little children. Make a plan together. Don't waste any precious time you have, as you never know when to be relaxed. Play until your heart's content. Keep laughing, keep smiling, and most of all, keep dancing. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Saju. John! And, <laughs> John! And I'm Saju's older brother. Yeah. It's funny, everyone thought we were twins during our younger years. We wore the same colored clothes, same shoes, same lunch bag, and to make it worse, even the same haircut. Thanks to my parents. <laughs> Growing up with Sanu, you always had a very unique way of showing his love. For example, he left me just the last cup of cereal at the end of the box. Or the last drop of milk when I really needed it. And the best, when he takes pictures with my brand new clothes. You gotta love him. Even though I gave him his style growing up, I never got his musical gifts. As many of you know, the majority of our family is very musically gifted. Sonny went above and beyond his talents. Dance, beatbox, drums, now DJ, he did it all. Or should I say, do it all. God is love. God brought both of you together. 
you made me happy. So son, love her with all your heart. Don't let things that will ruin, that will and going to happen in your marriage life blind you. There will be days when you come home and things are not your likings. But remember, there is nothing that love can't solve. So love her with all your heart. I wish she could have been here. I know she's not here with us. I know she's home. And if there was any chance she could have been here, she would have been here. So I, I do want to say, you know, we could miss our sisters. She could have been here with us. So, so for my sisters and everyone else here, please raise your glasses up to my brother and his wife and my new sister. Wish you joy and happiness forever in your marriage life. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Sonny and Sherry put it the way it Everybody knows that when Sonny does the wedding, he does a show for y'all. He doesn't let you do DJ, he does a show. So it's only right that we do a show for them. We got two good friends that Shireen and Sonny knows to come out here and do a little performance. So I present Tanya and Doris. What?
beautiful does my wife look? I can't, I can't, this is, this is awesome. This is from the, big, from the beginning to the end. <laughs> it's been out, it's, you know what they say, love is in the air? It's everywhere right now. Everywhere right now. You know why? Because you guys are here, okay? You guys are here for me and for Shereen. Because you love us and we love y'all. Okay? We have nobody in New Orleans, okay? You guys all came to celebrate this wedding because you guys love us and we love y'all. And that's, I, I can't. We love you! Yeah. It's my godfather! Yeah. And I brought him here to USA, to New Orleans, yeah. to celebrate my wedding. You know, I have to do it, and I want to thank you so much for being here. So I just want to thank everyone once again for being here, and I'm obviously I'm not going to hold the mic, so I'll pass it down to my wife, Sherry John. Okay, good. Now you can say John, 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 John.